Hi, I'm Mark from L and M Small Engine. Today, today we're working on a. It's an old, old one, like probably like a 1970s, 1980s Briggs and Stratton's, probably like a five horse, five horse engine that came off their tiller. It has a two PTO shafts. This one here runs off the cam. That's for like reverse on the tiller. But like I said, it's the older style because it has the older carburetor on it. It has a pull button choke on the carburetor. But they didn't bring the shroud. But they want, want me to try getting it going. So we'll see if we can get it going. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I'm going to take the air filter off. Spray some carburetor clear in there. They said they, said they run it with the shroud on it. I hope they do, but as you can see here, that clutch is welded onto the crank. But I guess you could still put the shroud on it. Well, without that shroud, you know, you can overheat the motor really bad. Before I get too carried away, let's see if the thing will even run. Then they made this contraption here to start it. They put that in the drill. <laughs> so... A little bit of gas in there. I'll be darn it runs. We're gonna go ahead and pop that gas tank carburetor off, put a new diaphragm in on the side, because you have to spray some in there to prime it. And put that new gasket between the carburetor and the tank. Clean the tank out. I'm surprised it ran. So it's a good sign. On this one here, I think it'd probably be if I don't break them bolts. Something else you have to worry about too. Maybe I'll try taking this carburetor off without taking that muffler off. We'll see. So there's one bolt on the bottom here. That's a three eighths. Take that one out down there. Then we got these two bolts here, and they're three eighths too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a five sixteen to take that off. That rod's pretty much bent up already, anyway, but. And we gotta unhook the governor spring down here. Then the kill wire. And there we go. Take the carburetor off the tank. Phillips screws. We have the shroud was here. I could tell you exactly what year this is. It had maybe be four points because they put that coil here. They put that aftermarket. I don't mega. They call it like mega fires or something. It turns a regular coil into a magnetron coil, like the new coils. That's that in plastic insert right there. So it had to when it was new. It came out with points. And that's a good sign too because like a lot of older ones these plastic tubes like breaking off right here but this is in good shape and a little tank right here pickup tanks holding gas too because that's full of gas so 
tank's not rotted out. Then on the carburetor, it had that old swirly, swirly thing that made the gas and the air mixture spin. It'll show you. It makes it spin as it goes into the engine. So let me go ahead and clean this carburetor off before we put that new diaphragm in the side. Let me go clean out the tank. Okay, here's our new diaphragm and our new carb slash tank gasket. This diaphragm here it pumps the gas from the tank, and it, there's like a little tank on the top of the little tank on top of the gas tank where it picks up in here, drops in there, then it siphons from this into the main jet into the engine. Kind of neat how they made that back in the day. And there's a spring and stuff in there we have to be careful with. Yeah, that's just hard as a rock. But right here, there's a spring in the diaphragm protecting thing. I'm going to make sure this is all nice and clean. No debris on it. Use some carburetor cleaner. Clean that out. This hole here, that's for this tube here. Make sure that's nice and cleaned out. I'm going to blow it out real quick. With some air. Put the spring back in there. Just double check them. And we'll use our new Paint gasket on there.
There we go. Now we can go ahead and put it back on the engine. Okay, I'll hook up that kill wire. There we go. It'd probably been a little bit easier if I had the muffler off, but when it's this old, them bolts could be rusted in there and you just end up breaking them off. I'm not going to tighten that one up all the way. I'm going to put that bottom one in. Snug that down. Okay. Okay, just double check all the screws. I'm gonna check the oil and put some gas in there. It should start right up. Put some nice premium in there. That gas smells a heck of a lot better than that gas we dumped out. Forgot to hook the governor spring up. I should have done that earlier. Okay. Thing with that, it's spot water on there. Popped off. <laughs> and I see the flywheel key's not even on there straight either. So we're gonna put a new a new flywheel key in there. I just put a real starter clutch on it. I don't know what they were getting that here, but they welded a nut under the part of the starter clutch that goes in the recoil pulley. 
So let's put a normal one-way starter clutch on there. Just the fuel mixture a little bit. Okay, I don't want to run it that long because that, there's fins on this flywheel that blows the air to cool the cylinder down. So I'm going to tell them when they pick it up, make sure they put that shroud back on it. But anyways... If you have more of this, I hope this video helped you out. Pre appreciate you watching. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, you have a good afternoon.